Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to create this Google logo reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of Adobe Photoshop and simple tips and tricks in After Effects. And if you want to learn more about logo animation and motion graphics then don't forget to check out my Udemy courses, links are available in the description. And if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So first of all here we are in Adobe Photoshop. Now I have this Google logo file over here. I'll provide the link of this file in the description. In this Photoshop file each and every alphabet is properly on separated layers. So we can simply go to the After Effects and we can animate this file. Okay. So now let's go to the Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We are going to call it as Main Animation as always we do. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate we are going to choose 30 second, duration we will choose uh, let's say 30 second only and background is white color so choose that also and simply hit ok. Then over here go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection like this. Now I am going to press ctrl i to import my uh, photoshop file so simply select this photoshop file instead of import footage we will choose composition return layers and sizes and simply hit import and simply hit ok now double click to open this composition we will select all of these layers and we will hit ctrl x to cut it out go to the main animation and hit ctrl v to paste it now right click new and create one null object select all of them by holding shift make it apparent with this null object select this null object press s for scaling option and scale it like this we will adjust the scale properly so we can move this properly at the center like this let's zoom in a little bit like this okay and now we will delete this null object okay so this is how we will get this stuff over here now after that we are going to select uh, ellipse tool go to the fill and with the help of this picker i'm going to pick up this color and simply hit ok and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse now select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this select this and hit enter and let's call it as g okay because this is going to represent this g now select this hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as o uh, and with the go over here with the help of this picker i am going to pick up this color over here like this select this hit ctrl d go to the fill options with the help of this picker i am going to select this yellow color hit ok select this hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as g with the help of this picker i am going to pick up this color select this hit ctrl d hit enter let's call it as l go over here uh, and we are going to pick up this green color select this hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as e go to the fill option with the help of this picker i'm going to pick up this color okay like that now right click new and create one null object select all of these layers and make it apparent with this null now select this null press p for position and let's bring this downwards like this now create one keyframe at the position over here let's go to around 20 frames and let's move this over here go somewhere around over here and ctrl c ctrl v okay so we'll get this kind of animation now select this and hit f9 like this now uh, let's select all of them and press s for scaling option uh, and uh, create one keyframe go to around five seconds and let's create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this zero okay select those keyframes and we will hit f okay we will select those keyframes and we will hit f9 like this and now we will take a distance of 5 5 frames like this and we will select this move this over here then we'll go over here select this move this over here uh, go over here select this move this over here with the help of open brain square bracket i am doing this select this and move this over here so if you see we are getting something like this then at this point i am going to select all of these layers and i will press ctrl shift d to split these layers 
and we will bring them at the top and we are going to delete this uh, uh, parenting of this null objects and hit u and we will delete this keyframes also okay like this now select all of them uh, or this null object and this uh, spares and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as first so this is indicating that this is our first animation like this then after that let's bring this downwards now select this layers and with the help of open square bracket we will bring them all up over here now this g should be parent with this g okay so we will do that select this g and make it a parent with this one but i think uh, we need to skip this parenting portion later uh, i mean uh, we need to skip this uh, procedure now we will do parenting procedure later now select this uh, ellipses over here and simply press p for position by holding shift i'm going to select each and every positions right click and choose separate dimensions and create one keyframe at x and one keyframe at y okay go few frame forward create one keyframe at x and one keyframe at y like this now select this uh, e over here e. okay we will move this over here zoom in a little bit make sure you should adjust it over here select this g make sure to adjust it over here select this g make sure to move this over here select this o make sure to move this over here so basically each and every spare should be at the center of this alphabet like this select this g and let's move this over here like that okay and in middle of all of them uh, select all of them by holding shift and uh, we are going to change the y positions of them somewhere around over here go to the align tab and we will choose this align vertically not a vertically but i think we don't need to do that uh, we will just keep it as it is i think this looks good and change the x position we don't need the keyframe on x position over here okay like this so if you see we are getting this kind of stuff then go few frame forward again select all of them and create one keyframe at y position and in middle of that we will bring this again over here okay now in search option type y only so it will show us y positions only and select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor uh, zoom in a little bit uh, select this graph by holding shift we will move one handle over here select this we will move one handle over here select this move one handle over here select this and move one handle over here now select this move one handle over here select this move one handle over here select this move this handle over here and select this and move this handle over here okay like this so if you see this now we will get something like this now this is quite slow so what we are going to do we will select this and by holding alt i am going to reduce it like this okay then uh, let's go somewhere around at this point and now we will do our parenting procedure so this g should be parent with this this one should be parent with this o this o should be parent with this o this g should be parent with this g l n e okay so you can simply uh, see the spelling over here also g double o g l e like this so what will happen we will get something like this now at this point over here i want this uh, thing sh should start to scale so i'll press s initial scale obviously should be zero so create one keyframe and go a few frame forward somewhere around like this and create uh, another scale uh, i mean proper scale let's uh, hit ctrl z first of all create one keyframe go few frame forward somewhere around over here let's create another keyframe which means 32 and at this point we will make it zero like this and select those keyframes and hit f9 okay and now we will select this ellipse over here we will go to the search option and we will type size over here so it will give us size keyframes and we will need to create a keyframe on size 
of each and every one and go over here and let's make this size zero and select those keyframes so, and we will hit F9 like this we will get this kind of pop-up and now after all of that basically what we need to do over here we need to adjust them one by one okay like this now this e should animate first so, so then uh, hit page down button two to three times select this l and this l and with the help of open square bracket we will move this over here hit page down button again select this and this move this over here again two times page down button move this over here move this over here and move this over here okay so if you see now select all of them and enable motion blur go over here select all of them and enable motion blur over here also like this So we are gonna get this kind of animation and if you want you can select this uh, go inside the Y uh, position and uh, you can simply select this last three keyframes over here by holding shift I'm going to create this last three keyframes of each and every one and by holding alt I'm going to reduce the duration of it like this and let's move them a little bit over here okay so let's reduce this duration up to here yeah this looks good so hit you and then press ctrl y to create one solid background and bring this backward like this okay so this is how you are gonna get this uh, animation inside of after effects and if you want uh, that uh, it should animate a little bit later then you can adjust the keyframe according to your needs but this is how you can create this kind of google logo reveal animation inside of after effects